Next and new at 10 biking. Of course, it's big in Madison, but a plan to put rentable bikes on the streets could be in for a rough ride. The night team's Maria Guerrero joins us now with the story. Well, the city is in a bit of a time crunch here. A proposed bike share program is set to kick off in May, just in time for a June conference on urbanism. But in these tough economic times, and as he said during his campaign, Madison's new mayor wants to take another closer look at this proposal. In a city that embraces biking, a bicycle share program almost given the green light looks to be cruising into a political traffic jam. Conceptually, I'm, I'm fine with it. I think it's a great concept, but there were some concerns. Mayor Paul Soglin says his apprehension lies with a potential $18 million budget hole and the details of this project. It was introduced very quickly. It was done without bidding. It amended our sign ordinance very quickly. The program called B-Cycle, offered in cities like Chicago and Denver, allows you to rent a bike at a kiosk using a credit card, then simply dropping it off at another location. I think it's a great idea. Um, I recently moved back. Actually, I was in Portland, Oregon for about four and a half years, and so they had similar programs like that out there, and so um, it worked well. But unlike other cities, Madison would pay $100,000 for three years to Trek Bicycle Corporation to provide 350 bikes and 35 kiosks in downtown Madison. And it just seems to me that taking 10% of our contingent reserve is real tough in this, in this economic environment. Still, bike shops like Machinery Row say B-Cycle is a good investment. It's something that is going to bring more people into the city. These people are generally tourists. It's something we see here a lot in our general rental business. And reps for B-Cycle and Trek are set to meet with the mayor next Tuesday here in Madison. The company, company only saying that it is still optimistic the program will come to Madison in May. We also want to add that Trek has said it would contribute more than a million dollars to pay for the infrastructure to help with the operating costs as well. And the mayor, that's his issue, op covering some of those operating costs with reserves. With the reserves. That is a big issue for him, Eric. Uh, but that's exactly what the city has already approved back in February. Here is the issue. The city's reserve fund stands at $1 million. Mayor Soglin says the city will dip into the fund to pay an estimated $700,000 in police overtime. Plus, more threatening perhaps is the rise in fuel cost, which Soglin says could very well reach $1 million, the entire pot. Plus, next winter's cost would also have to be factored in. Giving this estimate, Soglin says the city must be extremely cautious as to what else to allow into it, even if it's that small of a margin, if you will, $100,000. Absolutely. Maria Guerrero reporting. Maria, thank you very okay. much.